Hello and welcome to episode three of my bull tutorial series. This is it, the one. You know how to do the fling? You know where all the triggers need to hit are? It's time to do the bull route. This is gonna be the basic bull route. I recommend everyone start with this one. Do not move on to the next video, which is the advanced concepts. Don't move on to that video until you're rock solid with this route. Um, the advanced one is, as the name implies, very advanced. So stick with this route, get rock solid with it, then move on to the next video. So this will be your bread and butter for the time being. A uh, couple things to note. One, at the time of me recording this, HCM does not have the bool practice mode, unfortunately. So I will link this tool in the both the description and I'll pin a comment. This will work with latest patch. It uses Qi Engine. So install Qi Engine, download this tool, Click the check mark on bull practice mode on TB, and you'll see you have a nice visual indication of the triggers that you're hitting. You cannot use this in runs, but you can use it in practice and recommend using it to practice this. So, um, and when it's added to HCM, I will note that as well in a comment or description. So um, it's being worked on. So with all that in mind, let's go. Let's load in the hallway like we were doing before. And we're just going to jump into it. This first one, you have an indication in the form of dialogue. Head through that door. See, so head through that door. Next one's right here. It's very short, so you got to be careful. This one will stop the music. So when you hit this third one, if you hit them all in order, it'll stop the music. It sometimes will take a second. And this one. And this one. You can hear the music stopping. Then this one. I'm just using W and S to stop here. So this is the first bridge. There's the three triggers here we need to hit. Jump one, jump two, and jump three. Oops, jump three is right here. And there's this one. And there's this one. This one's a little shorter, so fly a bit lower. And this one. And this one. Now we're on the second bridge. There's two here we need to hit. This one you can just fly through. Don't worry about it. And this one you can also just fly through, just like that. And then that's your indication. If you've hit every single trigger up to this point correctly, you will get an explosion there. That is your indication, a very, very important one. All right, now it's time for the BSP loads. So if you didn't see that explosion happen, you have to fly back and hit all the triggers again. If you did, you can move on to this part, which is the BSP load. Here's why we wanted that hallway loaded in right here. Uh, this just lets us, we immediately see where we need to go, which is that beam right here. I'm gonna do a core save right here. And then I'm going to show you a little trick to make this a bit more useful. Fly your Banshee like right here, get it stuck, and then save a checkpoint right there. So I'll show you why that'll be useful in a second. It just makes it a lot easier to practice. So this is the first BSP load. We can't just run through all the triggers. Because of the five flood triggers, we need to load in the canyons and the other spots as we go. Basically, you need to load in parts of the map as we're moving along. So this is our first BSP load. Fly over to this beam, land right on it, just like this. This can be a little tricky, and you're kind of hovering here, and then you just want to get out and get back in, just like that. And that loaded the whole canyon portion. So uh, after you try this once and you load up your, uh, your, your core save, sometimes you'll have it still loaded in. Uh, if you do it in old graphics, though which I'll show you why you want to do that in a second, and then you reload your core save. You can see it's no longer loaded in. That's why, the, that's why this checkpoint here is useful. It lets you just revert to that checkpoint to load back in, load up your core save, and it makes it very easy to practice this BSP load over and over and over again, just like this. That's very nice. And you want this canyon loaded in, or excuse me, this hallway loaded in, um, for a particular reason that I'll tell you in a second. So I like to switch to new graphics, line up, switch to old graphics, get out, get back in, switch back to new graphics, just like that. Now this canyon is loaded in. You can see the enemies are there. You wanna fly a little bit closer to the canyon so you can still see things. Fly too far back, everything deloads. So we need to do one more BSP load. So we're gonna fly over here 
and you'll see this beam right there. This one right here. This will be the one you want to go for. Keep yourself in new graphics. Get out. Get back in like before. Fly down. So the reason we wanted to load in that canyon, or excuse me, that uh, hallway up there is when we switch to old graphics after doing that second BSP load, you can see this door. It'll render. And this is actually where we need to go next. This, this door will only render if you did that first BSP load in old graphics. So that's why I recommend you do that. That'll give you this very nice indication. And then you just fly into this and fall straight down. That next trigger is right here. Again, this one's pretty short, so make sure you hit it. It's going to be a little tricky. The next one you want to hit is right here. If you want an indication that you hit everything so far, you can take a slight detour right here. Let's take care of the next you can hear Cortana talk. If you hear her talk, you hit the triggers correctly. So that's an indication you can do when you're first learning. But regardless, you're going to want to fly over to this tunnel. This one doesn't check every second. Just fly straight through it. You will not miss it. Now the next one you want to hit is up here. Remember this little bend here? You want to fly directly into it, and then you can immediately fly to the right up here. And we're aiming for this hallway. And again, this one doesn't check every second, so you can just kind of blast through it a little bit. And then fly directly into the pulse generator. That did it. That's your other indication. You'll get some black bars here coming back out. And now we need to fly all the way back. So after you hit that black bars trigger, the next one's the tunnel trigger. But we don't want to go down there quite yet. We need to load back in the canyon. I know you'll see other runners do a different route here. Do not do that route. Do this one. Get good at this route. Then you can do the more advanced route, which will be in the next video. But fly directly over here on do this next BSP load right here. Then you're going to fly down directly below the canyon, and then you're going to fly straight. And we're going to fly all the way to that waypoint. I like to aim kind of about here relative to that waypoint. Everything's going to deload. Just keep going forward. Don't move anything. Should load back in one second. Boom. We can still hit this out of bounds. We're going to hit it just like that. And you know you hit that one because you get Cortana's dialogue. And then we're going to fly over here. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this next part. So the next trigger you need to hit is right there. I'm going to make a core save. There's two ways you can do this. You can do broken door skip or banshee through broken door. It's going to be completely up to your preference. Um, most people, when they first learn this, they're like, oh my god, I just hit all the steps. That was really hard. I want to be done. So you can just fly back and bounds right here. Just like that. And you'll get a checkpoint. You see that checkpoint right there? And then the trigger's right here. So you see that checkpoint I just got? Boom. So that's why a lot of people like to fly in bounds right away. So I'm going to show you... Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I will link a video down below that explains it much better than I ever could. But you can do the Banshee through Broken Door skip. I'm not going to really showcase this here. Again, I will link this in the description below. A excellent tutorial by Kronos that goes over this. But you can do this to get on the other side if you want to. Um, what I will show you instead as part of this bull route is... Uh, broken door skip so instead of doing that if you fly about here you can still hit the trigger and we can load this in through the wall instead so we're actually going to load this in and then fly directly through the wall there so i'm going to show you a couple ways to do it first the way i like to do it so i like to have see how like my banshee is jutting out very slightly behind this little wall there's like this little like gray wall here that you see um, i angle myself a little bit to the right and I just want a little bit of the back of my Banshee peeking out. And then I just hold S and E. Which is back and get out. So a little peeking out. Hold S and E. And then I hold W. And that's how I get through. And then I fly directly through this wall. Show that one more time. 
Hit the trigger, look a little bit to the right, kind of get your Banshee peek in just a little bit. S and E. Boom. That's how I like to do broken door skip. I'm not very good at this other method, but I'll try to show it as best I can. You'll see a lot of other runners. They will kind of do something similar, except they'll do something like this. Which is where they look straight down. They let the Banshee fall, and then they hold S and E and look up. So I'll show that one more time. This. Whoops. So this can happen. Um, I messed up, and I'm kind of in a weird voided state. So that can happen. If that happens, you have to revert. Your run's basically dead, I'm sorry to say. Boom. Kind of like that. Um, I believe you can do it straight as well. I'm not very good at this method, so apologize if I'm not doing it particular justice here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so whichever method you want to do, uh, try a bunch, ask runners what they do. This is my preferred way of doing it. Um, it's however you want to do it. But the result's the same. You're on the other side, or you can do broken door skip. Or excuse me, Banshee through Broken Door. I kind of recommend almost doing that to start with. Um, it'll be a lot nicer. So here's where routes are going to diverge for easy and legendary. I'm on legendary, so I'm going to hit this trigger here. And then immediately fly over to this button. I'm going to hit the button. Get back in. And that's going to start the door opening and go back and hit this second trigger. And then fly through. Just like that. Uh, the reason is there's a rocket flood that spawns. There's a bunch of AR flood and other nastiness. On easy, you generally don't have to worry about it too much. Um, but those are two different routes. Do whichever you prefer. On ledge, I recommend what you just saw me do there. So here is... I'm going to make a core save. Fast five. Here's what I recommend you do. Get out. Park your Banshee. Throw a couple grenades. Just like that. Get back in your Banshee. Banshee bomb, a couple flood right there. And then fly all the way through. Hit this trigger right here like before. And then, boom. If you see all these spawns, you successfully killed five flood. Um, there's another thing you can do. I recommend doing that, but here's fast five, which I'm just going to show this. You can kill these five flood here instead. Can be a little annoying, especially if that guy is a reviver, but you can kill five flood that way. Uh, it can be a little tricky. I recommend just doing it the first way I showed. It'll be a lot easier. Result will be the same. If you don't see flood here in Covenant shooting at you like this, you need to go back. You did not kill five flood. Then I'm going to hit this trigger. And then that's it. That's the last bit that we need to hit. All we have to do now is... Go end the level. Do some nade boost here if you want. These are the two I like to do. And that's it. Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. That's bull. Um, it's one of the hardest tricks in the game. I probably made it look a lot easier than you. <laughs> I made it look a lot easier than it is. Um, I've been doing bull for years. So the ease of which I did this basic route, get to that point, get to the point you just saw me where I'm just effortlessly going through, hitting all the triggers, hitting all the BSP loads, no problem. Get to that point, then move on to the next video.